Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to tackle this drawer. I know I recently did a lip product declutter but again I am here and I have way too many lip products. So today we're going to go ahead and declutter this drawer again. <laughs> so here are my liquid lipsticks. Um, here are my bullet lipsticks and here are my lip balms and minis. Everything in here is just overflowing right here is my balms and my mini anything mini is should be in here and then my glosses back there um all my glosses um glosses and see my balms are overflowing so overflowing they don't fit anymore so here we are and we are ready to hopefully declutter some of this because i have way too much lip product again and um I know lip products are my no buy this year, so I wanted to kind of condense this down to hopefully where I'm using more of these products. Um, just, you know, the true stands out, standouts. Um, I already tried to take this out. I wanted to do it in here, but seeing all of this, this is way too much. I cannot do it in here, so I'm going to take everything out. And we're gonna do it on the floor instead so I'll be right back and <laughs> this was way too heavy so um, everything started falling out so that's like a desperate sign that I need to do this so we're gonna go ahead and do that today it's not a game. It's a okay, I hope this setup works and I hope you guys can hear me so these are my liquid lipsticks. Um, honestly, over time, I've kind of um, been drawn away from liquid lipsticks. Like they were once really, really popular, but now I haven't really been using them. So today we're gonna go ahead and go through this. Um, right off the back, these <laughs> new um, Huda Beauty Dimmy Mats. I just got these a couple of months ago. I just haven't gotten into them. Um, this is my hands down favorite favorite formula for liquid lipsticks again it's a demi matte by huda beauty not the normal matte the demi matte honestly the most comfortable long lasting liquid lip ever in my opinion it's comfortable it wears nicely i personally love this formula so we're going to keep that one obviously um another formula that stands out to me is a dose of colors this one is a lot more matte gonna go ahead and keep all these shades I have the shade truffle black rose this one was a limited edition a long time ago um heartbreaker this one's brand new nude mood which looks really similar to heartbreaker and this one the bottom fell off um, it's a red shade um honestly I think I'm gonna swatch one of these or both of these nude mood and heartbreaker they're really really similar I'm actually going to swatch all of these for you guys. Um, let's go ahead from Darkest. Let's do... This is Black Rose. Yeah, Black Rose. I love this shade. It's one of, like, I think one of the most unique vampy shades. So that's Black Rose. And then I have... I think it's like a brick shade. I don't remember. The tag fell off. But um, I wish I knew what it was. But oh gosh, that one's a really pretty shade as well so so pretty um but these are the ones i'm kind of like i don't know if i need all of them they all seem kind of similar this one it ooh, that one's really pretty heartbreaker and then this one is nude mood i feel like these are too similar this is where i can get rid of one ooh, that one's more pink so you can see that one's a little more oops a little more pink then Heartbreaker. I think I like Heartbreaker better. And then this is Truffle. Truffle looks a lot similar to Nude Mood. So I'm going to keep these three and I'm going to get rid of these two. They seem too similar to each other, but I can see a little more pink in these two. And I really don't like pink. Um, more pinky tones. I just don't wear them. So I'm getting rid of a nude mood and truffle. 
and you're gonna be seeing this a lot it is my makeup eraser I'm gonna be using this to hopefully clean off the swatches off my hand so I love these These are really really nice um, just add water that black rose really doesn't want to go away okay so I'm getting rid of these and I'm keeping these um I just wanted to rearrange re ah, I just wanted to rearrange that this is the Ofra and Jen Loves Re Reviews collab I bought earlier this year. I really thought I was going to like this more. Um, I really don't like Revive. It looks really Pepto-Bismol on me, so I'm going to get rid of that one for sure. These two, I'm not sure about. I mean, they kind of do what they, they're meant to do, but I just don't really mix lipsticks like this when something doesn't work for me. I usually just use like a different lip liner and that you will usually be enough for me like a darker lip liner more neutral lip liner if I want to like kind of maneuver that or top it with a gloss so um yeah this is a Sephora cream lip shine keeping that one I like the tone this is an Ofra is this a gloss or a liquid lipstick this is Baroque um, it is a liquid lipstick. It looks like it has a little shimmer. Let me go ahead and swatch this. Um, I'm not sure about that tone on me. It's definitely more pink than I would have liked it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one as well. Just the, there's like a tone to it. I just, it does, I know it's not going to look good on me. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one as well. And then let's go. Okay, these Stila ones. Ooh. <gasps> that one's not Stila. Are the only two Stila ones I have? Maybe I, de okay, maybe I decluttered them in my last one. Um, These two and Sienna and Dolce are my favorite, but I don't like them by themselves. I like them mixed. So um, I say I don't mix shades, but <laughs> I, make, I make these two work together. Um, I kind of know that already. I like those. This is the Too Faced Gingerbread in the shade. Gingerbread Girl, I guess. This one's really pretty. That one is so, so pretty. It's like a really deep, burnt sienna, like brown, red shade. It's so gorgeous. I don't think I need these other ones. I think they've gone bad. They've separated a little bit. Let me see. I'm never going to wear this purple shade. Oh, yeah. I'm never going to wear that shade. <laughs> what was I thinking? I'm not going to wear purple. Nope. Let me get rid of that one. And then I also have the shade Suck It. Probably... An interesting shade. Ooh, I like that one. I don't have a lot of like pinky mauves like this. And sometimes I'm looking for I want to do a more mauve eyeshadow look, a more monochromatic shade. And that one I feel like it's pretty unique and I don't have that. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. Oh, and I also have Cool Girl. Ooh, I still love this shade. Ooh, that's a little I don't know, it's a little it smells really good. Mm, I don't know. I feel like this will be, this shade's kind of like what this shade's supposed to do. It's supposed to like lighten. And I do remember this one being a good mixer shade. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that one as well. I feel like I'm not doing very well. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep my Smashbox one. This is my favorite. Oh, it's a little, it's a little dry. Oh no. <gasps> it dried out. Okay, never mind. I'm throwing this one away. It's dried and no longer longer this used to be the shade always on if I didn't have other shades that were similar to this I would buy it again just because I love the shade but I'm pretty sure I have really similar shades out there so it's really on there another shade I'm keeping is this Sigma Cora de Rosa um, this came free with an order I made which was really really nice because I was able to try out their formula and ooh, see I'm telling you guys I have a lot of shades like this over but I love them this one's a little bit lighter but yeah these, these are these are like my my perfect go-to shades they're just so beautiful and Sigma does have a really nice for, formula as well these two are really similar this is the Mac brand topped with brandy and then I'm going to compare it to the um oh no that's totally different okay good this is the Top With Brandy by MAC, and then this is the Suck It shade from Too Faced, which I already swatched, but just so you guys can compare them. 
they are really really different oh my gosh mm, I don't know I feel like if it comes down to it I'm gonna use this shade over that shade yep I'm gonna get rid of suck it which I'm really happy to get rid of because I think this shade is more wearable on my skin tone so um, I will make a do with that shade instead <laughs> I love swatching um these NARS ones I'm keeping them <laughs> love them they're minis um I haven't used it I want to try the formula but these are like shades I would totally totally go for I feel like swing maybe not as much but definitely vault and lure they're both my shades but these are mini so they're gonna go to my mini collection <sighs> another Sephora cream in are these two the same they look really similar no this one is zero one lip cream shine oh this is like a gloss okay so it's just in the wrong section cool and then this is a cream lip stain so this one's gonna be more matte i'm assuming i don't know Ooh, yeah, I'm not going to use that one. That was a shade 22. I'm going to keep this one, but I'm going to throw in my glosses. But yeah, that doesn't go in there. And it's definitely more glossy. And the other one's, I think, going to dry down to a matte. But the tone's a little weird for me, so I'm going to get rid of it. I know they're similar, but the other one was a little more neutral. And then these are my Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Mattes. This is the shade 1995. This is one of my all-time favorite lip shades of Oh, ever just so so pretty it's so flattering on my skin tone just so so pretty and then this is everything nice this is also really flattering on my skin tone this one's a little just a little more orangey and terracotta like and one of my favorite formulas these are a little bit drier but this is as dry as I like to go but they're really long lasting super light on the lips just a really good formula so those are really, really nice. I'm keeping those. Um, let's keep going. This is Lime Crime. I meant to do a Lime Crime video and then I never did. Oh, that's sheer. But that's really sheer. I really love the tone that kind of goes with my shirt. This is the ABH shade in Seraphine. Seraphine. Oof, I don't have a lot of reds, and that one's a really nice red. Maybe. The, oh, let's just go through the ABH ones first. This is the shade Ashton. Oh, I remember loving this shade. Is this as nice as I remember it? Yes, it is. I'm keeping Ashton. This is the shade Bamp. Oh, I remember loving this one as well. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be so terrible at this. Um, hmm think I can I don't know I don't have a lot of dark shades like this I'm gonna put that one to the side too and maybe decide later seeing what kind of reds I have at the end and deep shades because I don't have a lot of deep shades like that in my collection anymore oh my gosh this is my favorite this is the Kat Von D Lolita so beautiful I'm keeping that I don't have any other of hers. These are the Kylie Cosmetics. This is Basic. Let me start out with Basic. We got a dog hair, guys. If you guys have dogs, you guys know how it is. Not my color. It's a very, very cool tone, grungy though. And I do have new cool tone eyeshadows. So maybe I'll keep that one because I really don't have enough things to. There are enough lipsticks to pair that with. That is the shade Commando. That one's really pretty, but it looks a little light for me. So I don't know. And this is the shade Savage. Mm, I feel like I have enough shades like that one. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to get rid of all of them, but the cool tone one, I feel like it's the only one that's unique to my collection. So I love this one, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I'm sure I have other ones that are similar and bullet lipsticks as well. So it's another thing to keep in mind. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of these like tones and shades repeated 
a thousand times over. Um, these are, this is the Urban Decay, um, 1993 lipstick. Very, very beautiful, or very neutral, like brown, keeping that one. Um, this is the Laura Lee Mai Tai. I'm not sure, I don't remember liking these. Oop, nope, that's not my shade. That's a no from me. <laughs> and then this is the shade Cabana. This looks super light and these are kind of newer so I'm surprised I've separated already. Ooh, I really like this more neutral shade. It looks like it'd be light on my... Yeah, it's going to be light on me so it's going to make me look washed out. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on that one. It's going to be a no from me. Okay, this is the Lipstick Queen in Sia. That one looks really, really pretty. Oh gosh, I can't say no to that one. So nice. Okay, I'm gonna try that one. I haven't actually tried that one on my lips. There's a lip lacquer, it doesn't go there. These Morphe ones, I love. These are some of my favorite, favorite formulas. Am I keeping all of them though? Mm, oh, this is a gloss as well. Go away. Okay. Uh, Mm. Oh, okay, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna keep all of these. I love these for me. This one's looking a little separated. Let me make sure it's okay. Let me mix it. Smell it, smells fine. Oh <gasps> no, I'm never gonna use that. Never mind, I lied. That looks like a poop color. This is a true story. I wonder if it changed. I don't remember it looking like that. That looks very poopy, very poop brown, like baby poop diarrhea. Gross, let me check these other ones. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these other ones are gonna be fine. This is um, Taunt, I love the shade. I remember when I bought it, I loved it. Yep, beautiful still. I don't remember that one being brown like that. And this is Peanut. And beautiful. I'm pretty sure I have a lot of these, but I love this formula as well. It is, again, really, really matte and intense, but ooh, hot shot. This is a beautiful, beautiful, unique shade. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to keep this Anastasia red one because I don't have another red one like this or like that one either. So yeah, I'm getting rid of the poop brown. Had to stretch out my legs so or fall asleep. And now these are my drugstore ones. So all those were my high-end ones. And now we're down to the drugstore. Even though my Morphe was in my high-end. I don't know why I didn't do that. I didn't mean to at least. Um, this is my Koki. I haven't tried it. It's still sealed. I want to try this. I've been forgetting to try that. I still want to try that though. These collab ones. Again, <laughs> I bought these and never tried them. This is the shade um, Peachy Keen. Let's just check them out. <gasps> That one's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yes. And this is What's Up. I feel like Collab is one of those brands that are really slept on. Okay. Cool. Cool toned. I like that. But I really like the tone of that one. Hmm. I really, really like that shade. Super pretty. And I'm not even somebody for cool tones, honestly. Um, these Maybelline ones love do I really need both I have the shade seductress and amazonian seductress and amazonian I feel like I also have another one called um hazelnut I need to find that one oh but they look so beautiful I think I'm gonna get rid of seductress though it's way more pink than I would like. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. The pink one. Yeah. I mean, I think I got them confused. Now I don't know which one's which. Okay, yeah. Seductress. No, thank you. Okay. So when I remembered I had another Maybelline lipstick, I went to go find it. And yes, of course, I had a, a stash on top of my dresser to organize for later. And I completely forgot to add these in here. So this is the shade um, Hazelnut with the Maybelline lipstick, which I also love. Now that looks really similar to the shade Amazonian. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch those next to each other. 
Okay, so this one's a little more pinky than than this one, so I really st still really like that one. I want to compare it again to seduct Seductress. I don't want to make sure. I want to like show you guys what I mean when I don't like a pinky shade. Do you see how this one has a tiny bit, tiny bit more pink, peach, pinch. Uh, <laughs> my brain was combining peach and pinch. Anyways, this one has a tiny bit of pinky peachness to it versus this one's pink and this one's like more of a burnt peach, like burnt orange brown shade and this one's kind of like in the middle. So I'm okay with this one. This one is just too pink. That was seductress so The one I decided to get rid of. I'm keeping the other two though. Um, Maybelline makes one of my favorite formulas in matte lipsticks and honestly, I don't have a lot of drugstore options so I'm keeping my options open there these are these are technically more phrase drugstore in my opinion so let's keep those over there and then oh, I found the other Maybelline one I found the other ones I was talking about this is my favorite lipstick of all time day slayer by Huda Beauty in the demi matte formula this is oh my gosh I'm such a boring person but that is literally hands down my favorite color ever it's so flattering on me. And I also have this shade in the matte formula, Venus, which is more matte and a tiny bit more pink. But um, I haven't actually gotten a chance to try that on my lips, so I would like to keep it and do that. But they're very, very similar. I got them as a set together with a lip liner, so. Very, very cute. These are actually minis, but, um, oops. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them in there since they're liquid lipsticks anyways. And then my minis is going to be a whole mess. Oh my gosh. My thing is a mess now. Like, look at that. <laughs> been, I should have been more organized about it. And I'm getting all over all over my hands now. It's, it's not helping. <gasps> oh no, I got stains on the floor. Okay, great. Awesome. I just threw it on the floor. Nice. Problem for later. This is the NARS Swing. Oh, I already have the shades. I can get rid of one. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the mini. I'm going to keep the large one because I haven't used the mini. So I can give the big one to somebody who would like it. That's really, really pretty. Okay, I didn't realize I had the jumbo size. I bought a mini set and I didn't know which one. I didn't think I already had any of the shades. So it happens, whatever. I have this Rare Beauty Mini. This is the matte lip cream. Um... I think it's okay. I don't have a lot of red, so I am keeping that along with the ABH one. I am going to keep this red as well. I don't have a lot of red, so I want to keep a couple of reds. Um, I'm not crazy about reds, but I need to have the options, so we're going to keep those for now. And I also found these Peach Puff Diffuse Matte Lip Colors. These were by Too Faced. I love these. I don't know if they're still good, though. <laughs> Let's just go ahead. Ooh, yeah, that's still... And it smells fine. That is the shade you wish. I'm so sorry these are no longer available, but I used to love these. And they're still really good. Okay, and this is, yeah, in the flesh. So that is that shade. Mm, yeah, I'm going to keep both of them for now. I'm going to go bad soon since they are like sponge material or sponge applicator. should probably get rid of those soon. Not right now though. And this is the Nebula Noir um, collab with e.l.f. And I love this liquid lipstick. It is so, so good. Oh my gosh, guys. Like look how perfect that is. It is such a beautiful, beautiful shade. Like oh, heaven. I love it. Oops. My drugstore's over here. I love it. Wait, was this one the red one? I'm keeping that one too. Yeah, I'm keeping the reds. I don't have a lot of reds. Um, ColourPop. Oh no. Oh wait, this one from Wet n Wild. This is Nudist Peach. I said I was going to use these more and then I never used them again. So I'm going to get rid of these. This is Wet n Wild uh, Give Me Mocha. I used to be obsessed with this shade. I wore it like every day every single day that is really really pretty but i have other shades like this so i'm gonna get rid of it and it's just not the most comfortable formula like at the drugstore it is one of the more comfortable formulas but i just have 
other formulas that I prefer more over that one now. When I first got those, I loved them. Now it's just, it doesn't make sense anymore. So we're just gonna get rid of them. And here comes all the reds. Okay, so these red shades. Um, this is the Flower of Beauty. Ooh. This red though. Oh my gosh. That looks so, so pretty. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the ABH ones. Get this one. So, so beautiful. Um, I know this one looks similar, but it's actually not. Let me just show you guys. Not similar, just making that clear. This is a shade Besame from ColourPop. Ooh, that one's really pretty too. Okay, mm, they're a little bit different though. This one looks a little bit darker. Actually, I'm not crazy about the ColourPop formula though. I'll keep the Flower Beauty one and I'll get rid of the uh, ColourPop red one. And then this is the shade Chula. Oh, Chola. My bad. Ooh, it's like a brown shade. Very poopy brown. I thought it was a red. Um, hmm. I'm actually going to keep it. I don't have a lot of brown. So. Oh, another Flower Beauty one. My bad. This is Rosewood. I already knew what shade it was. I just needed to look for whatever reason. Very mauve nude. I'm going to keep this. I don't have a lot of mauve nude shades like that. Um, I personally don't love cool tones like that, but I don't have a lot of them, so I need to give myself options for either drugstore or high-end videos to um, to give you guys options. Oh my gosh, look at my hand, guys! <laughs> help! Someone said help! Oh gosh, there it's stained everywhere. I don't know what to do. Okay, guys, I am back. Oh, sorry, Mama. Um, so today, oh, I'm like I don't know. I'm starting over all of a sudden. <laughs> I got distracted. I had to go clean my makeup eraser. It was looking pretty bad and it still looks pretty bad. <laughs> but we're going to make do with what we got. Um, anyways, I have a little bit more of these. I think I'm just going to finish up with my liquid lipsticks and then we're going to be done with this part of this video because this is going to be way, way too long for me. Um, and for you guys, I just want to make these more short videos where it makes more sense. I thought I would be able to fly through these faster and I'm not able to. So. Um, this is the ColourPop and the I Love Sarai um, collab. This is Sueño de Coco. I'm going to try and condense these to two, two shades. I like that one. This one looks a little pink. This is the Becky G Mija shade. Um, okay, so yeah, that's way more pink. I think I got a, no. I thought it was a dog hair. It was a piece of plastic. Yeah, this is one more pink. I don't think I want that one. This is the um, Twinkle Lights with Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Little Star. Oh, this one was beautiful. Oh, it is so, so pretty. So much for reducing it down to two. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have a hard time. Another I Love Sarai 1951. I really like that one too. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one's dry though. It's a little dry. Okay, let me... Mm. <laughs> guys I really like that one but is it dry or is it just the not mixed in right let's see okay it just wasn't mixed very well like I think the top was just dry oh that one's so pretty too okay this is a uh, scenic route this is an ultra blotted lip I never tried this I just swatched it a million times and I never actually tried this it's a very peachy corally shade I don't think I have other shades like this. This is actually pretty unique. And then this is the Becky G um, Secreto. Oh, I have a feeling I'm going to love this shade as well. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Okay, um... God help me. Okay, well, I failed at only reducing it down to two. Um, but I did decide on this one, this one, and this one. I, I am getting rid of the Kathleen Lights one, and then this coral one I liked. Getting rid of that dark one, and then this pink one. Just because, as much as I love the Kathleen White Lights one, I really do love that shade. I don't think I'm actually going to use that shade. I don't think... 
Actually, I'm lying. I think I might actually use I don't know. It's so nice. I think I might. Lord, help me. Mm, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to keep these four. I'm going to keep these four and get rid of these two. Scenic route, blotted lip, and then. I think it would be this hard. Mika, this one right here, this pinky one. I'm gonna get rid of those two and call it a day. I, I, even though I don't love this formula, I feel like I need affordable options and I don't have a lot of affordable options. So let me get this reorganized and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry guys. Um, So I finished and I didn't realize my camera wasn't filming anymore. So... <laughs> I think the last part was that as I settled on four of the ColourPop matte liquid lipsticks. I think that's where I was kind of trying to figure out what I was going to do. Um, so I did end up keeping four instead of the original two that I wanted to keep. Um, I am so sorry that was a whole mess. Um, I don't know where I was after that point. I did um, mention that I found more products. But anyways, um, this is all I'm keeping. Um, I know it's still a lot. I'm getting rid of 24 liquid lipsticks and I'm keeping 43 of them. So it's still a lot. Um, it's an insane amount. I know no one needs this many. Um, I found these two minis um, somewhere else in my lip gloss collection. Um, so I'm actually keeping, well, I'm gonna throw one of these away. One of them has been open. I think it's this one. This one looks like it's separated. So I'm actually keeping 44 liquid lips with this mini Smashbox one that I found. Um, yeah, so I am so sorry about the whole filming disaster. Um, I had previously filmed my outro. I don't know where I kind of lost my footage, but these are my liquid lips that I'm keeping, the ones I'm getting rid of. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I have way, way too much makeup and I'm not, um, it's a little disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag i'm just trying to show you guys that i'm trying to be more conscious about what i'm using and liquid lipsticks are part of my no buy for 2021 so i'm not planning on buying anymore so i know i i have a ton and i'm keeping a ton but I'm, i am planning on doing declutters every six months now so hopefully um come june i will have a better idea of what i can get rid of even more at that point um but for now i do like these shades and these lipsticks do make me excited, do make me happy. So I'm going to keep these for now and then come June, hopefully I'll be able to get rid of even more. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to um, keep following me to see more declutters. I'm going to do my lip glosses next and that is a huge, huge category because I love glosses. So make sure you stay tuned and keep up on my channel. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Bye.